In 2012, the Cornell men's soccer team had its greatest season in nearly 20 years. They won an Ivy League title for the first time since 1995, and they made the NCAA tournament. The way they're playing right now, though, there could be more. 3-0-1, Big Red hosting Binghamton. Who wants a t-shirt right there? Flowing out past the crowd. First half, we're scoreless. This one was physical. Vince Brunetti has a look here for the Big Red, but his kick goes a little bit wide. Same score later on, Bearcats with a chance. Steve Celeste looking for one here, but no good. Love Mama Celeste Pizza. It's pretty cheap at the grocery store, too. You can get that. Didn't get the goal, though, but Cornell, they keep up the pressure. Atticus to Presca. Yeah, that's his name. With a wild shot here, it doesn't go, but the Big Red would come out on top. They stay undefeated. They win 2-1. to one. In the early game, the Cornell ladies take care of Binghamton with a 2-0 shutout. More scores. Both the Mansfield men and women, they get it done in Division II, barn burner style. The ladies beat Indiana on the road, and the men, they take down Pitt Johnstown 1-0. To nothing. Onto the high school circuit now. Elmira at Vestal tonight. Golden Bears showing why they're ranked number 20 in the state in Class AA. Connor McKnight, Knight Rider. Hey, where's Kid at? Well, here he is. He can't beat the keeper, though. It's still 2 0 Vestal later in the second half. The cross finds Brian Clark. This one just too easy. 3 0 Golden Bears. They take it now in the lead. Now, how about one more? Nick Rind going top shelf. Vestal cruising in this one. They win it 4-0 in a slaughter. To the scoreboard, the Notre Dame girls top New York Valley 2-0. And on the boys' side, the Hawks of Corning, they shut down Union Endicott 3-2-zip. Well, moving on to some college stuff now in the football circuit. You know, most teams have played two or three games already, but not the Ivy League. That involves the Cornell Big Red, who plays host to Bucknell Saturday for the first game of the year. Now, the game also marks the start of the Dave Archer era. The Cornell grad takes over the reins as head coach, and as you just saw right there, also has NFL prospect Jeff Matthews back at quarterback. Now, the Big Red finished just 4-6 and six last year, but they believe they could be much improved this year. It all starts Saturday versus the Bison. We've been pretty much going against each other uh, for the past month or so, and it's finally good to see some you know, game playing the opponents and seeing another color out there on the field. So we're excited about it. It always naturally builds as you get closer to game time. To just sort of start as high as we are right now means that by the time we get to game time, I think we'll be in really, really good shape. All right. Well, the first batch of New York State high school rankings are out, and mm, they're sort of like cookies. We love them. But only one big cookie is ranked. Tioga comes in at number two in the Class D rankings behind Randolph. The Tigers will be at Kander Friday night. One other team, though, Dryden, is honorable mention in Class C. Hey, Jackals fans, we're just one month away from the day from the big time. That's when Elmira kicks off their season at those pesky wheeling nailers. Plenty of time to get your seats and stuff and all that for the season. Visit jackalshockey.com for more information. And end out with this, Elmira native and Olympic distance runner Molly Huddle will start the Notre Dame Turkey Day 5K on Thanksgiving Day at 9 a.m. Huddle is the current USA record holder in the women's 5,000 meter race. Now it's just 20 bucks to enter, 25 the day of. Proceeds will benefit Notre Dame High School and runners age 12 and up can participate in it. For more info, visit NotreDameHighSchool.com. And this right here, cool board here to end out with. Now, did you know that Molly Huddle was the only runner on her high school cross-country team in high school? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. The only 